Hi everyone, in today's article that I'm going to read out loud for you, so you don't have to, it's about the topic, uh, why I don't like Upwork. Let's dive in. To be honest, I haven't had enough experience with the platform, but the little I had made me give up on it. This is my perspective as a freelancer, but feel free to let me know in the comments what is your experience with the platform so far. Too long didn't read? It's the user experience. Duh! I didn't have a good one, hence I gave up on the platform. Inconsistent design combined with fresh visuals but bad functionality and logic very fresh example. I am now editing my article before publishing it. I click on my profile picture to go to the settings, but instead of viewing the settings, I have to re-enter my password. Thanks to the autofill function on Chrome, this lessens my immediate frustration. Where do I start? When I created my profile a year and a half ago, or at least started to fill out, I had a difficult time, as I remember, setting up my profile picture because of the requirements and upload restrictions. The whole user experience with the platform was underwhelming from setting up to the profile to searching for jobs. The part that frustrates most of the users is probably the fact that they implemented a scheme where freelancers to get to higher positions of bidding for a job have to buy or have connects. That's what they call, they're called as a currency. You get the monthly as a certain amount from the platform for free, but when your connects expire and you want to apply for more jobs or specific job posting, quantity and quality dilemma, and have a much higher bidding range, well then you have to buy the extra. Also, another thing is that freelancers can't communicate with the clients, or at least depending on the level you have as a freelancer or if it is set up as a rule that the clients initiate the messaging after they review your cover letter. I know, sounds ridiculous. I have heard stories from clients searching for freelancers on Upwork and being straight up scammed because they can't know if the freelancers are those they represent themselves to be. On Fiverr, another platform market for uh, freelancers, there is a chat option and video call option available without even starting a project together. Let's not forget that the freelancers can get scammed as well by clients that don't intend to complete or pay for a project. And we all know who those platforms favor more, right? Although they charge every freelancer 20% or more for every single gig or job, they also charge buyers smaller fee as well. Example, for changing your bank account number, also can you guess how long it takes to finalize the process? For ridiculous security reasons, it takes three days to be activated. Also, each direct local bank withdrawal costs 99 cents USD. I bet that if I try to learn or use more the platform, there will be more ridiculous amount of details that will frustrate me. All in all, I had only one job through the platform and communication with the client was extremely slow. I have also attended multiple workshops of theirs about how to be successful freelancer and all of them were giving interesting insights but then again it comes to that if the buyer has actually read your submission. Ah yes, almost forgot. They show on my profile the wrong location and time zone because for some reason it is more important where I am from not where I am. As you can see the location is chosen from Upwork from my home residency, I think upon providing ID details, but the time zone is the one I'm currently residing in, which of course is different from my place of origin. Confusing, I know. Overall, I find the platform useless at the moment for the amount of effort both sides have to provide to make collaboration first happen and then to be smooth and easy process. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for listening and subscribe for more uh, podcast episodes and of course leave a comment if you have any other experiences or stories related to today's article. Your comments and feedback really keep me motivated to create more content so don't be shy, leave a comment and wishing you a great week. 
Of course, as always, you can find me on Instagram at Angelova Nicoleta Design or LinkedIn Nicoleta Angelova. See you in the next one. Bye.